So today I'm going to talk to you about highly functioning hybrid relationships between managed detection and response providers like GuardSite, cybersecurity as a service providers like GuardSite, and companies, and what makes those relationships successful. So the first thing is it's a dual relationship. Like any relationship, if you want it to succeed, you both have to be involved in it. Both companies have to be involved in it. You kind of think about the company and then their hired gun, where guard site is your hired gun. It's important that you both approach that in that manner. So the benefits to a hybrid relationship are one, improved hygiene. So the ultimate goal is to improve security posture overall and improved hygiene. Cybersecurity is sometimes like a, well, like a fighter pilot analogy, 98% boredom accentuated by 2% sheer terror. And that 98% boredom is a lot about hygiene. So you wanna make sure that you're being diligent about your hygiene. The second thing is vulnerability management. So managing your attack surface, managing the vulnerabilities down. The third thing is about threat detection, response, continuous monitoring to make sure that uh, the bad guys that are attacking you, you see bad guys, shoot bad guys, that kind of stuff, making sure that you can see them. And the third thing is responding when bad guys succeed. Because they do succeed, you want to be able to respond effectively. And that's the, the nucleus of the relationship, how you manage the relationship. All successful teams and all successful relationships understand the mission. You have to communicate that to both teams. And GuardSite's great at communicating this to our customers, and some of our customers are great at communicating their mission to GuardSite. So when we're together, we want to make sure that both entities understand the mission. Mutual cooperation is king. So why is this important? Well, first, cybersecurity is serious business. The bad guys are trying to compromise your assets and ultimately impact your careers, and impact your customers, and impact the value of your corporation and the brand. It's a serious business. Second is that security operations in general requires a warrior mentality. The, the, your adversary, the external threat actors, and sometimes the inside threat actors, have a specific intent. And their intent is to cause you damage, pain, harm, injure you in some way. And if you don't rise to that level of passion and commitment, then you will fail at your mission. So you have to adopt a warrior mentality. You want to keep in mind that the fight is out there, that the bad guys are the things that you're both fighting. This is not good. Conflict with each other is not good. And if you see that, you want to remind yourselves that the fight is out there. Also, sometimes in cyber, what we do is we look for the most skilled people, which we should be doing, but malcontents, and skilled malcontents specifically, are still malcontents. I want to make sure you're taking a team approach to this and why the, you know, what makes the best team players for your team with the best skill set possible, of course, and experience. Also, unreliable people, no matter how skilled they are, are still unreliable. And when you're in the fight, you need reliable people. So you want to make sure that the, both entities understand this. Another thing is that positive attitudes manifest positive results. Okay, so what are some of the courses of action that you can take with your managed security services provider, managed detection response provider, cybersecurity as a service provider, companies like GuardSite? The first thing is, is that both teams have to understand the mission and they have to embrace that cooperation path that they're going through, this journey, this relationship that we're going on. Leaders on both sides need to lead and motivate and keep the warriors motivated. Also want to develop genuine bonds of trust. Very important, especially when you get into a cyber fight, being able to trust on both sides, not just the teammates that are responsible, the security operations, special forces operations, teams that are responsible for this, but the customers' teams as well. So get to know your customers. We call this customer intimacy at GuardSite. Have empathy for these folks. Understand what drives them personally and develop those personal bonds of trust. Very important in establishing good relationships. You want to embrace a choreography of process. So at GuardSite, for example, we use work instructions to as field manuals, if you will, for how we manage our process. And you want to share both, both, both sides want to share how they actually manage that. We'll call that a choreography of process. You want to report your key performance indicators and your key risk indicators. So both sides should measure each other in how they're performing and their effectiveness. Are we achieving the mission? What does that look like? 
Are we measuring that to understand our progress? It's really helpful in the journey. It identifies defects. It also eliminates that, you know, the silence issues where you go for long periods of time and then something just blows up. Like, just regularly report your progress. Celebrate team wins. There's all kinds of team wins that are happening constantly and leaders need to celebrate those. You want to provide adulation to be able to get folks and teams to move in the right direction. Admonishment's going to happen as well. You need to identify defects and take care of those, but you want to provide adulation, both sides. So oftentimes, our best relationship with our customers are us telling our customers how good they are at doing something, because we want them to do more of that. And our customers tell us about how good we are at doing something, because they want us to do more of that. Embrace that ideology. Want to avoid hysteria. So especially in a response situation, sometimes what happens is this fog of war, everybody's freaking out. That's not going to change the situation. What's going to change the situation is that both teams understanding how to manage the situation. So avoid hysteria, and if you have people that are hysterical, take them out of the fight so that you can get your mission accomplished. The final thing is have fun. We get paid to do this. You know, we work in air-conditioned buildings. We get to fight bad guys for a living. We're probably going to go home alive tonight. Have fun doing what you do. So hopefully this will help you understand some of the effective characteristics of hybrid security relationships. If you want to learn more, give us a call or contact us at guardsite.com.